Good morning to all. In this lecture, I would like to discuss with you about the Fourier transform of finite wave train. As usual, before going to the Fourier transform of finite wave train, let us have a review of a Fourier transform. So, we have general equation for Ft function in a time domain uh, to a function g omega which is in the frequency domain is equal to 1 by root 2 pi integral minus infinity 2 plus infinity ft e raised to minus i omega t dt uh, cosine function cosine function is this one and sine function is g omega is equal to root of 2 by pi integral 0 to infinity ft sine omega t dt Now our problem is Fourier transform of finite wave train. The equation, uh, the function is f of t is equal to sine omega 0 t for the interval modulus of t uh, less than n pi by omega 0 and uh, the function f t is equal to 0 for modulus of t greater than n pi by omega 0 and the figure of our function is uh, like this. For m pi by omega 0 on the both side, we have uh, sin omega 0 t. After that, we have 0. So, it's called finite wave chain. So, we can use a uh, sine transform. Therefore, uh, gs omega is equal to root of 2 by pi integral 0 to infinity phi ft sin omega t dt. Our function ft is equal to sin omega 0 t from uh, 0 to n pi by omega. So we have the equation d s omega is equal to root of 2 by pi integral 0 to n pi by omega 0 uh, sin omega 0 t sin omega t dt. For the integration we can use uh, this identity sin x sin y is equal to minus half cos x plus y minus cos x minus y. Here x is equal to omega 0 and uh, y is equal to omega. Therefore our equation changes to root 2 by pi into minus half from here into integral 0 to n pi by omega 0 cos of x plus y omega 0 plus omega t minus cos of x minus y omega 0 minus omega t dt on integration integral of cos x is equal to sin x now remember we have a negative sign here here also a negative sign therefore we have negative and negative comes to positive here then here is here there is a negative sign so in this step I rearrange it like s yes, omega is equal to root of 2 by pi and I am considering the second term because here is a negative sign here also a negative sign and cos omega minus omega 0 t integral of cos omega minus omega 0 t is sine omega minus omega 0 t divided by omega minus omega 0. So the lower limit is uh, sine 0 that is uh, 0 and uh, applying the upper limit sine omega 0 minus omega into instead of t we have n pi by omega 0 divided by omega 0 minus omega and half is here. And uh, in the second term we have we can use this one and here there is a negative sign therefore minus integral of cos omega plus omega 0 t is equal to sine omega plus omega 0 t divided by omega plus omega 0 it's here then applying the limit uh, uh, sine 0 is uh, 0 then instead of t we have n pi by omega 0 this is the uh, Fourier transform of finite wave train. Now for large omega 0 and uh, omega almost equal to omega 0, the first term will have any importance. So our output is like the amplitude of a uh, single slit diffraction pattern with uh, 0 set omega 0 minus omega by omega 0 that is equal to delta omega by omega 0. This is taken from Mathematical Methods for Physicists by Afkan. Thank you for listening. Thank you.